Hi, I'm Philip Lafoucrier, I'm a distinguished engineer in the secure and defense stage at GitLab. And today we're going to talk about loading Docker images onto your offline host. When we are saying offline host, we are referring to uh, GitLab instances that are completely air gapped uh, from the, the network and they don't have any access to the internet. The problem comes from the security features of GitLab where uh, we need Docker images to be able to run uh, the required analyzers for SAST and dependency scanning and so on. These analyzers are not shipping with GitLab. They are hosted on registry.gitlab.com. And since we're talking about a completely air gap instance, your instance doesn't have a uh, permanent of access to this, uh, this URL. So to use with that process, we have created in uh, GitLab 13.0 a new template that is called Secure Binaries uh, that you can include in your GitLab CI configuration. And that one of template will download and store locally all the required images so that uh, your project using this template will need and require at least a runner with an access to this uh, registry.gitlab.com, but you can create a specific runner uh, and assign this runner to this project only so that only this project would be able to download these images and store that locally. Later on, we're going to talk about the secure analysis prefix, which is a way to tell your GitLab instance where to find the Docker images for all the security features. To demonstrate the first part, the template that uh, I've been mentioning, I'm going to use this secure bundle project that I created on GitLab.com, but the same would go for any uh, self-hosted instance. The name of the project doesn't really matter. What really matters is to create a CI configuration file, a GitLab.GitLab-CI.yaml configuration file using this secure binaries template. Once I add this file with this content to the repository, a pipeline is going to be triggered and that pipeline is going to download all the required analyzers from the registry.gitlab.com website. And it's going to store these images locally so that if I go to the content of the registry of that project, that will have all the images and it ready to be used by any project of that instance. But before being able to use these images directly, I need to set up a variable in a project or even better in a group. So to do that in a group, I will go to the settings of that project, the CICD settings, and I'm going to add a new variable. So the same would go for a group. I'm doing that at the, pro the project level here, but I can do that as at the, pro at the group level as well. I'm going to add a variable named security analyzer prefix with a value of my new location. Uh, please be sure to not use a trailing slash here. It's, it's going to break the, the job definition. So I'm using registry.gitlab.com in this example, but you can use uh, any kind of host or it should be your self-hosted instance here. But I'm using this new location, which is the secure bundle project that I just created and where all the images are downloaded and present. I don't want to protect this variable because I want this variable to be used in all the branches and for every single commit that I'm going to push to GitLab so that I can run SAS dependency scanning, contrast scanning, and so on. So I'm just added this variable. Let's take a look at the pipelines of this project. The previous pipeline that was created was running gymnasium dependency scanning and retired GS dependency scanning. If I take a look at these jobs, I will see that it's using registry.gitlab.com slash gitlab.org, etc. slash analyzers. So that's the default location of the gymnasium analyzer for the two tag. I'm going to trigger a new pipeline that will use this new variable that I just created. So I can run this pipeline for master. You see that I'm not touching anything. I'm not updating the CI configuration in any way. And I'm going to run this pipeline right away. And if I take a deeper, closer look at this job, we're going to see that it's using directly the new secure bundle location without any change again to the CI configuration or anything. So I could just set up that variable at the group level and all the projects would benefit from this new location instantly without updating all these projects one by one. And we can see that the execution is going normally like it should be the, the regular and the default location on registry.gitlab.com. So that's it for today. If you have any more questions, feel free to reach out to us on gitlab.com and stay tuned for more videos.